guys, it's Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and today's PCT product demo, I'm going to be showing you the Sculpey Flexible Texture Sheets. Now, a little while ago, I got a box of all the new products for, from Polyform for 2013, and I got in there all kinds of neat things. I've shown you some of, some of them already, but what was in there was their new texture plates or texture sheets they're calling them and they've got two different sets now and they're they're quite cool and I'll show them show you how they work in a sec the first set is the um, is called edgy and it's got two plates in there one with small sections on it there's six designs on here and then one larger one the edgy set has some kind of neat things like the um, snake skin and on this one here it's got like a roadmap section and different neat patterns. Then they've got the landscape set and this one has um, the same sort of idea with the six smaller patterns and there's things like dandelion fluffs and bark and uh, honeycomb and things and then on the other one there, the, it has a large one as well, and it has roses and things. So it's it's all kind of floral based. Now these are a lot different. Oh, just so I can put them over here. They're quite a bit different than, or not a lot different, but a little bit different than what they used to carry as texture sheets. These are the old uh, texture sheets that Sculpt used to carry. As you can see, the the new ones are quite a bit bigger, and they also are designed. They're the right thickness and the right width to fit into your pasta machine, which is kind of a neat thing. You can use it for that. And I'll quickly show you how they work. Um, now I've used, I've used the texture um, pattern with the, um, the street view on the back of this uh, mo micro mosaic pin from one of my tutorials. And it has a great uh, look to it, kind of, uh, I don't know, an, an industrial look, sort of look to it. And then I use the um, this pattern here on the back. It's a diamond type pattern on the back of this um, <laughs> crown pin. And it's also a micro mosaic uh, pin. And I just, so I just wanted to show you that so that you can see how they were being used once they were baked. And I'll just grab one of these texture plates here. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can use them. You can use them uh, with clay and just roll on the top of the surface, put your clay on top and use an acrylic roller. But I wanted to show you a neat little trick that you can do. Because the, the way these are quite... Um, they're deep embossed. You can actually use something like um, ink here. I'm sorry, I've got some Brilliance Fast Drying Pigment Ink. And I'm just going to ink up the surface here of this stamp. And there's just so many different things you can do with texture plates. But I just thought I'd show you this one because you might not have thought of it. Then we can take our piece of clay and we can set it on top and just now you actually we're going to do it the other way around we're going to put it and press into it so we can see it without smudging it around so i'm going to lay it down on top press it in to the clay now you can use a um a roller like this on top and the nice thing about the the way these plates are designed or sheets is that you can really see through it so you can see how well the um the image is embossing. If if the color of the clay is showing really well, then that means that you're getting a good impression. And if it's all milky looking, then it's not good enough. So there we go. See, isn't that neat? So we've got, um, you've got the, you've got the ink right down into the pattern like that, and then you can cut it out. You could cut it into a pendant or whatever you like. So that's one neat way of using it besides just your regular way. And then to put it through the pasta machine, what you're going to want to do, here I would just wipe that off first. You want to use a little bit of water on your um, texture plate, you, or you can put it on the clay, it doesn't really matter which way. And we're just going to make sure that it's misted on there well, and it keeps the, the uh, 
clay from sticking in there too much. The ink worked that way too. Now I've rolled out a sheet at the thickest setting, but I'm going to roll it a little bit thinner because once you get it, once you have your uh, texture plate added as well and everything, you, you're going to have it too bulky if it's if it's at the thickest setting. So I'm going to roll it down a couple of settings, maybe two or three. It's up to you, but a few would be best. Then what we're going to do is I'm just going to set this here kind of to rest and hold this where I'm going to put it. And if you kind of hold it away from there, I find it works a little easier. Oh. And then you always have to open up the machine to the biggest setting again because you need everything to fit through. So now what I'm going to do is just start running this through. Now I find it catches down here a little bit, but we'll just pop that through. And it'll just roll right on and then you get this beautiful deep texture that looks absolutely fantastic. Then your whole sheet is also the same thickness. So being able to run it through the pasta machine is really, really nice. Now you can, you always want to blot off your water first before you do too much with it. You can do things like, you know, leave it as is. You can put paint in there. You can rub inks on the top. You can um, just bake it and then, um, because it's such a nice deep texture, you can still sand and, and polish it on the top like I did on the pins and get a nice finish without losing the texture on there. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, you might want to go check them out the next time you see them. So if you did like that, make sure to click that like button. I really appreciate it. And my question for you today is, um, have you seen these uh, text Sculpey texture plates or texture sheets out there yet? And are you going to go try them? Leave your answers in the comment section below and <laughs> great. And don't forget to subscribe. We have new videos that come out every week and you're not going to want to miss a thing. We'll see you next time and bye for now.